What up, Fep the Up Squad? It's me, John Quez, aka Fat Belly Fella, and I'm back. What's up, you guys? Okay, so today, you guys, we are having Loaded Nacho Supreme. Um, yeah, I know. It's the day after Christmas. Well, well, for me, it's the day after Christmas. To y'all, this is the day after after Christmas. But I was craving some nachos, y'all, even after all that heavenly deliciousness Christmas food. Um, yeah, I wanted some of this. So we ain't going to waste no more time. We're going to see our present. We're going to get into this food. How was everyone's Christmas? We got Junior and Susie in the back. They brought us some blueberry Fanta. Cheers to you guys. Oh. So basically what we have today is Lotus Steak Nachos, you guys. Hold the olives. It's some of everything on here. It's just like, and it smells absolutely amazing. So we're just going to get into this. We didn't said our prayers and all that stuff. No need to waste no more time. We're going to give you guys the first bite. I got a fork back here because I know that once I get to the bottom of this, I'm going to be scooping up everything. Oh, and they got beans in here too. I'm not sure exactly what kind of beans. But if you're allergic to them, let me put you a jalapeno. Let me get your jalapeno to put on that joint. Put on that joint right there. There y'all go. Uh-oh. There y'all go. Get you some. Get you some. Okay. Mm. Mm, mm. This place never fails me, ever. This is my go to <clears throat> restaurant, especially in them days when I'm, you know. <laughs> They got absolutely everything that you can think of. And if they don't got it, they'll make it for you. They'll always find a way. Always. So, <clears throat> I'm going to eat a little, you guys. And then I'm going to get into my Christmas. <laughs> And why I couldn't really get in too much vlogging done on Christmas Day. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. They could have given me a little bit more sour cream now. No shade. They could have given me a little bit more sour cream. It's all good, though. Mm, mm, mm. Actually, it's amazing. Mm. Oh, no. So, mm. y'all just need to eat. I need to eat a little bit. Give me a minute. Mm. Give me a minute. <clears throat> That's all I need. Mm. 
God knows I love me a good old potent jalapeno. Them things that get you right up in here. Ooh. Those are the good jalapenos. Those are the ones that I look for. Be making you feel the heat all up in your forehead. Yeah. Them the ones. Mm-hmm. So, okay, let me just get into it now. So, my Christmas was absolutely amazing. We had a lot of moments, y'all. <laughs> but, as y'all get to know my family a little bit more, as y'all get to know my family a little bit more, as I strategically place them into these videos, because that's what I have to do. Because <laughs> when y'all start to meet them, meet them, you're going to understand why. Bunch of characters, bunch of zanies and fools, cuckoo clocks left and right, cuckoo clocks. It's a lot of personalities, y'all. Just a lot of personalities. And I love them with everything that I have in me. Because you know your boy a little off yourself. <laughs> you know your boy is a little off yourself. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> but my family loves and respects who I am as an individual, who I've become as an adult man. They just accept me and embrace me wholeheartedly, y'all. And I know there's a lot of people like me, like myself, who don't, you know, they don't have that same luxury, you know? So I don't take that for granted whatsoever. I don't take it for granted whatsoever. <clears throat> I have a father who's still present in my life. You know, we still we still building our relationship, you know. We still building our relationship, but he, you know, he's present and he's he respects me as an adult man, you know. And furthermore, who I am as an adult man. He respects that. That's more than I can possibly ever ask for out of him in life. You know? And my mother, y'all know, you know, that's my best friend. I'm a mama's boy 100 million percent and I'm not ashamed to ever say that not ever my mama is my best friend in the whole entire world y'all the sweetest most gentle kind-hearted woman I've ever met in my life it's time I met I came from this woman you get what I'm saying it's time I met but y'all get what I'm saying y'all get what I'm saying My brothers and my sisters. <laughs> Being that I am the oldest, you know, I put on, I take on that responsibility of being the older brother and all that good stuff, but they all make sure that I'm good, you know, at all times. They make sure that I'm good.
Now. <laughs> Oh, and wait a minute. And my nieces and nephews absolutely enjoyed the Christmas, y'all. Some of them was emotional, crying and all that stuff. Some of the babies weren't feeling too well and all that because the weather is so crazy here. Like, legit, it was it was like 50, what, 8 degrees on Christmas Day? No, no snow in sight, y'all. Not a drop of snow in sight, and I'm so thankful for that. I was so thankful for that. I just didn't want to deal. I didn't want to have to deal with the snow this year. I didn't want to have to do that. And then today, it was 61 degrees in Chicago, in December. <laughs> like, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, baby. But I do know that the weather is going to is gonna start acting up, I think, like they said, January sometime. Like January sometime, I don't know. It's supposed to snow this weekend. But anyway, I'm getting all off track. Some of my nieces, and you know, they were emotional about some some gifts that they got and all that stuff. It was so cute. My nephew, one years old, he had a whole attitude because you know he wasn't feeling all that great. So imagine this little one year old little boy walking around with attitude. <laughs> the cutest thing in the world. And also. My niece, who is eight, nine months, just like her uncle, got the stare of death. She will stare you down like you done bumped into her and didn't say excuse me. Like she was ready to just mess you up. Imagine. A eight, nine month old baby. Doing that to you. <laughs> mm. Those are my heartbeats. My heartbeats. Now, <laughs> as far as, you know, I wanted to do like some vlogging and stuff on Christmas Day. Get y'all some footage of what was going down in the Cotton household. <laughs> but everybody was so all over the place. It was so crazy. So all over the place. And I wish some moments I could have captured. But it was like they would just happen and just like boom 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 left and right left and right just stuff was just happening I'm like dang I can't do nothing I can't get an ounce of footage in I wanted my people to see my family but them cuckoo clocks cannot sit still worth nothing y'all but next year I got you Next year, I got you. And I do want to say hi. <laughs> Listen, my grandmother had me going running around for her on Christmas, y'all. Well, not too much running around. Just to, to go see somebody that haven't seen me in a long time. I think the last time that this lady saw me was when I was probably like 12. I'm 32 now. So imagine her reaction seeing a fully grown man that she just hasn't seen in his 20s and has now stepped into his 30s. Imagine her reaction. So I, you know, did my little one too, went and said hi and all that stuff. And there were some people in there that I, you know, I, I guess I was supposed to recognize. I didn't really recognize. I didn't remember. I have bad, bad, bad remembrance of people that I haven't had any, you know, affiliation with. <clears throat> In a while, I do. It's nothing personal. But anyway. This guy was like, he was like, you look familiar. 
I mean, then when you heard my name, it kind of rang back. He was like, I be hearing your name on YouTube, Jack Quiz. And I was like, oh, well, hi. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how to react. I don't know how to react to, like, people recognizing me from YouTube. I, I don't know. This is something I just have to get used to. I got to get used to it. And then my sister pull up. She got me. First thing she can say when I get out the car, fat belly fella, and got me on her phone, watching me on her phone. I love the support of my family. I love that. But what's even crazier is receiving support from people that you don't know. <laughs> you ain't never met a day in your life, and they just recognize you from something that you've been putting so much time and effort and hard work into you just don't know if people really recognize you or would recognize you or not or anything like that that's great <laughs> that's great move it up Y'all, this is so good. I never had this before. But I remember when they was putting this on uh, um, uh, Facebook. They were putting this on Facebook and they had it like sitting inside some kind of like um, like kitchen cleaning fluid or something like that. Talking about some watch watch what you do to me or something like that. Because you never know if I'm putting cleaning fluid or the actual, <clears throat> the actual um, pop into your glass. I had to sniff the bottle before I opened, I mean, before I poured it into my cup, y'all. <laughs> Stuff like that would have you paranoid, like, like even though I, ain't, I don't do nothing to people to make them do something like that to me personally, but I'm just like, when stuff like that get into your head, you got to double check, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Oh, there's my sour cream. Sorry, I just cannot have this mess all over my hands like that. It just feels so weird. It feels so weird. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, I had every intention on uploading yesterday. I'm putting the video out yesterday or whatever, but... I've been going back and forth with Google about this monetization thing for my channel. I keep getting email. Well, I don't want to get too deep into detail about it, but I keep having to go back and fix things that I didn't realize was a problem in the first place, you know, and having to do that. So that's the, that's the reason why y'all haven't seen any, you know, any ads on the on the channel just yet. But they will be there soon. So. I finally got the problem fixed. <laughs> I finally have the problem fixed. It was a hassle. Like crazy. It was a hassle. But I wasn't about to give up because I didn't came too far. I didn't work too hard. Baby, you're going to give me my gods. Give me my gods. Give me me. Run me me. That's it. That's all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know <clears throat> that's my cutoff spot, y'all. I right, listen, not today. These were these are basically two nachos combined as one, <laughs> and I ate one. So, and one alone is huge. That'd be a nice little late night snack. Y'all know I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Every morning. 
every morning. I don't know why. Major sleep deprivation. That's what it is. Uh, I feel like I feel like I only get. I feel like I don't get enough sleep. I get sleep, but I don't get enough. It's never the full eight hours. It's barely even five hours sometimes. It's because I be having so much going on through my head that sometimes like. I become restless. And then that's probably like the best time when I, I'm not even going to say probably, it is the best time when I get like my best ideas. <clears throat> my best ideas are like when I'm up sitting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, it's completely quiet, I ain't bothered by nobody. My phone, well, I ain't going to say my phone ain't ringing because y'all know what kind of hours those are. My phone sometimes be off the charts at that time and I don't be understanding it because who gave you the permission to think that that was what that was what I was giving, boo? No, 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 no. I did those in my twenties. I'm not doing those in my thirties. I'm looking to settle down, and build a house. I'm ready to have some kids. Ready for the life to live. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what I want. I ain't nobody booty call no more. I I got up mm, call mm, booty call booty booty call booty booty call. What do you say? Boop 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 call booty booty call booty. <laughs> okay, you guys, this was absolutely amazing. But I had enough iron for. Oh goodness. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. If you guys aren't following me on my Instagram, you can follow me at underscore fat belly fella underscore. Okay. But in the meantime, y'all know what's about to happen. Y'all know what's about to go down. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to be notified each and every single time your boy upload another video. And don't forget to share, share, share because sharing is caring and i will see you guys in the next video tomorrow you guys for sure tomorrow okay <sighs> it's just we just getting out of the holidays y'all y'all know what that give y'all know we get real busy around the holidays so please forgive me please forgive me i've been doing great this month <laughs> but next month is on wait next year is on i love us for real Pray.